All right, hello and welcome to Game of Thrones Week Three. Um, I'm Silas Schultz. I'll be your commentator today, alongside my co-commentator and father, Dylan Schultz. What up? So we got a great round set up for you guys today. We got Brandon Bork, one of the founding fathers of Kingfish Disc Golf. We got a new uh, comer on the scene uh, with uh, Tyler, and then we got Jonathan from out of town so he's gonna be commuting from lafayette every week and then we got another og with john fox who's been playing disc golf longer than i've been alive so here's hole one we got brandon going with the backhand route we don't have catch cam on that but uh i believe he's inside the circle so tyler's going forehand and this is your preferred route correct it was we're recording this in the past but presently that route doesn't exist we had some high water take down that tree you see there kind of blocking it so not sure what's going to happen to that route in the future well i think if the tree goes it's just going to be a super huge route straight up the gut so yeah but right now it looks like it might be living just living on its side so so we got a couple of backhands really nice ones from uh Jonathan and John both putting them circles edge ish. I think John or John's a little bit inside the circle. Um, Tyler from you know down there. It's hard to get enough height on that one. And uh, we missed that putt, but it unfortunately did not go in. We missed it, and he missed it. Yes, yeah, we were on the same page on that shot. So we got a. Uh, got John Fox and Brandon just putting in some inside of the circle putts as they do. Um, moving on to hole two. John Fox so solid playing in the Masters field but a lot of times score wise taking down the open. State champion. Yeah. And exceeded the rounds that the open players played beat him score for score yep i mean he's he's got a really solid game forehand and backhand which is not something you see in a masters player often it's just forehand or just backhand but uh he's got touch with both of them i think for all these guys they're just trying to get down there as far as they can to give themselves the safest upshot as possible because this is one treacherous green, maybe the most treacherous for the course. For sure. And I think, yeah, because a lot of people are going to be throwing some upshots to it, so you want to just get in the best position, kind of pretty much where uh, John Fox was. Mm -hmm. So Tyler's throwing a sidearm. He's going to be kind of on top of that hill, uh, which is not the worst spot, but not the most ideal spot. Jonathan Nice gonna hyzer out to that left side, which I feel like happens a lot. Something about the the shape of that hill, or just kind of the shape of the hole to where you have to get it over enough, but a lot of times they'll just come out. The Tyler actually goes around that tree, he's gonna be up by the picnic tables. Hmm. So Brandon known to switch up the bag a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure that was the colt. Yeah, he's been faithful to the Colt for a while, probably a lot longer than any other disc in his bag, I'd imagine. Yes, yeah. I mean, as far as mixed bags go, his is the most mixed for out sure. of any bag. For sure. So we got uh, John displaying that, that sidearm touch, and then we got Tyler from up top. This is a scary putt. Ooh. He wanted it. Almost puts that in. Brandon, I think he hit the tree and rolled. But not too far for B. No. Man, his putt is just so, like, it's like the definition of a spin putt. He just, like, just kind of brings it in, just pops it out. Belly to basket. That's all it takes. We got a couple more cleanups. Yeah, he's got the putt, and then check out this impeccable backhand for him with the full extension. Boom. Probably a QJLS, if I was to guess. So hold two. Um, we lost a tree, and now this this up the middle line is really opened up, and it's, I think, probably the main line. Um, a lot of people threw it before, but um, 
feel like almost everybody's throwing it now. I don't see anyone go outside with the back of the No. no. John from a beautiful shot, splitting the trees, giving himself a good <coughs> edge look. This is a pretty good bonus birdie. I feel like if you're getting this, pretty happy. Yeah. For sure. That's a great thing about Scotlandville. There's no real gimme birdies, and then there's lots of them. You, if you're an intermediate or advanced player, you can get it on a great day, but yeah. you don't expect it every day. And a lot of them have a lot of OB around it. So you have uh, six, seven, and eight, and even four, where they're all birdieable holes, but you can also take a four or five, um, depending on your OB luck. So we got a couple of shots from on top of the hill short. That was a nice sidearm from Jonathan. Nice. Jumping. It was tracking. It was tracking just a little too much. John Fox, see if we can put this one in. All day. The Fox. Now that, that deserves a replay. Is he going to get it though? Then we in a oh, win. Yes. Tomorrow may not be another win. But until then, I'm going to keep on moving. Cool. I'm going to keep cruising. That's a nice The song I felt went with the putt because he felt like he was just, just cruising along, just getting birdies, just making it happen out here. Tyler, maybe a case of big putted right there. Yeah, it's hard to, hard to swallow. Brain just thrown right around. Tyler, removing all debris from the disc. You, you gotta, you gotta take your time on every putt. All putts matter. Tyler looks a little frustrated early. Yeah, it's hard when the oldest guy on the card is just on two Slay. down through three. That helped. It's a tree. It's gonna be right, right there for a putt. Huh? Do you have any issues? So this one, another where you can kind of pick a poison with uh, backhand or a forehand. Um, forehand? Uh, but, I don't know. I, I saw James throw up a gut. So he's a forehand player. My forehand's been feeling a little weird lately, so I just started going up the gut. And it really is fair both ways. Last time I played with James, he went forehand. I used to be up the gut, but it seems like it's cleared out a little to the left. And that's, that's where I'm slinging it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Chris Pennington throws the forehand on this one, too. Uh, he made that a little bit more available for all the forehand players out there. I feel like the forehand shot has a higher ceiling. Yeah. So you don't have to worry so much about it. I was uh, playing this... Oh, oh, I almost put it in. I was playing this the other day, and uh, I just remembered, I was like, I aced this hole one time. I, I went through the ceiling. It was pretty much the luckiest shot you can imagine. Through all the trees, hit a little limb, and went in with no chains. And I was like, "Wow!" And yeah, I just I totally forgot about that until they the don't. Last time I they don't at call it. you the loat for nothing. No, no. So yeah, I mean, if you guys out there don't know my game, it's basically Logan on steroids. The loat, the luckiest of all time. That is. Me. So you better hope that it's not working and I'm not playing it at the same time or it can be, be pretty nice. All right, so we got a couple of cleanups there. John Fox, three down through four. I mean, that's, that's pretty much ideal. He couldn't ask for any more than that. He's not no. going to reach two. No. Let's, oh, no. That's that's straight out of bounds. And I mean that is the danger. This is one of the scariest tee shots at Scott. B's got enough on that. Oh, no. Oh, no. You see a little bit over correction. It gets through the tree. And, uh, oh, no. Plenty good. Yeah, that's a nice spot. Nice spot. Oh, and that looks nice. Tyler, forehand player, but also 
Tomahawk play. So I think this is a play just to kind of make sure you don't mess with out of bounds. I, I don't understand it at all. I, they, Tomahawk players, they do it. They just, if you want to keep it in bounds, you want it to go straight up and down, you throw a Tomahawk. Um, oh, oh no. no. You're kidding me. Get back in. So he's, he was trying to go roller and I think hit the root of the tree and then kicked him out of bounds. That is, that's what it's like. Can you be playing so good that you start playing bad? Like the pressure of having the possible best round of your life just catch up with you? Absolutely. Uh, me and Thunder, we were talking about this the other day where he was, I was like, how often do you shoot your best round after going like six down through six? Yeah. He's like, I never do it. I was like, me neither. Like, I'll start off a round and I'll just be like, if I birdie like the whole front nine or something ridiculous, then I'll always like slow down real fast and like maybe catch a bogey, you know? So, I mean, maybe that was a little bit of what we saw there with uh, John Fox. Yeah. So we got a low side. Oh. And I mean, if he misses that tree, he's right there. Now I don't, I don't know the state of Brandon's sidearm. Have like, have you seen him throw sidearm very much? I have not. I feel like that was the first time I ever saw him pull it out. Oh, we got Jonathan Nice. I'm not sure what this is. For. Oh my goodness. I guess he was trying to put it in for a birdie or eagle or something. He won. Fortunately, stay safe. He catches a little bit of metal up there, but I think he might have been thrown from. Oh, it looks one. like a turbo putt. Don't yes. get to see those often. We got some turbo action. That's that's the thing. Like every time I want to pull out a turbo, I just feel like if I miss it, I look like. People are like, why, why did you, why did you just throw a turbo? I understand it in that situation. Yeah. So yeah, we got a bunch of cleanups. Sean Fox double. Tyler gets the replay on uh, Tomahawk. I mean, listen, there's nobody's throwing it. Let's see it again. It's the most entertaining looking shot out of all of them. Brandon oh laced, laced the up the gut line. Wow. That is such a hard shot. Let me tell you, Game of Thrones ruined that route for me. I threw it <laughs> right into the tree. It was played multiple times. I've never thrown it again. <laughs> and that was a great inside sidearm. It was good to skip off the hill, too. Yeah. With Tyler. Oh, wow. Inside, and inside. This is... That's such a hard line. To get it to go like inside of that tree so here's this putt for bird sheesh wow sit on the throne and you can never move it i hear my destiny is calling so say hello so say hello to the champ yeah two time replay i don't think we've ever seen this many replays in short order like and it just speaks for the maturity of his game. Yeah. It speaks for the maturity of his game to have a, a tough hole, but be able to recover and pick up the bird when you need it. Yeah. Not get too rattled. So we see Brandon and John are tied. Um, and then we got uh, Jonathan Nice at even, Tyler at two up. Um, really a little frustrated, but not too worried because you can come through here, catch a couple of birdies, um, kind of get your round back on track. Brandon's dish is never hydrated there. I think we're seeing a sidearm. Looks nice. Oh, oh, oh yes. Wow. Perfect. Oh, yeah. And I feel like, do you throw the sidearm in this shot? I used to. Yeah, I used to as well, but it, I feel like the trees just got too low. That's that's the scary part of the back end, is if you don't let it go 
Oh, right man. enough. It's, it's been a long trip lately. I've been thrown way up the hill and letting it just come on down. Yeah. All right, so we got Tyler. He's gonna be kind of up top there. Uh, Brandon also from a, oh yeah, just a little low there. This is Tyler from a knee on top of the hill, and he bangs it. Oh my! And that one, that one, that deserves. Shouldn't let you in. Why are you acting like we friends? Cause we don't kick it, and you ain't next to Ken. I'm gonna go be small. Yeah, kick it he earned that off. replay. No yeah, matter how your round tough. is going, if you nail a putt like that, that'll keep you coming back. Yes. Yeah. And hopefully the song was a little yeah. bit um, of a taste of what's to come that he's actually going to go beast mode and get himself back down to the park. You know? And there it is again. Just navigating the elevation change and send it right there. That can be a really interesting putt from up top on that hill. Yeah. I think that's the funnest part of the hole right there. If you, if you get a yeah. elevator going down putt. Now this this is one of the scariest holes to me on the course. Cuz you want to you want to throw a sidearm like those two. You want to get them down there, but man, if your sidearm doesn't even cross, like you're just in so much trouble. Lost two discs in the past three weeks right there on that hole, and I think it's the most discs uh, thrown OB, most discs lost on the course, this hole right here. Probably, yeah. Got a little snake action. There's, yep, there's another look at it, Scombo. So I think Jonathan opted to re-tee after going OB very early. Oh, and he puts it OB again. If you go OB, that's where you want to go OB, though. Yes. Almost did another one. Imagine the amount of replays. So here's Tyler from... On the edge. Yeah, he might have even been standing on some roots. Jonathan needs to convert here. And yeah. And here's Brandon for three, because unfortunately, his drive went OB. The backhand on this is... It's tough. It's tough. Because, you know, you have the, you have, you know, what happened to Brandon, which is very easy. You know, have that go straight out of bounds. But uh, when I was at, uh, I don't know if I was at the crush or just came and throws around, I threw my sidearm straight out of bounds. And then I just opted for the backhand because I didn't feel like throwing another sidearm OB. And I was able to get up and down for four or five. You actually backhand aced that hole once. I did, with the mid-range. It was just a hyzer flip. It was probably across the ditch if it didn't hit the basket, but... Yeah, I think probably the only backhand aced. We got another tomahawk. Again, when you want it to be straight. Now, he doesn't have... Um, he hasn't really... He's very early to the sport, so he hasn't really developed a, a reliable backhand yet. So for this shot, if you want to rip a forehand flex... You're going to end up on the right side, and you're going to be testing that OB. So, I get the play. I get it. Yeah. And that's a pretty good job by Jonathan. I feel like anything past those couple of trees is what you want. And that's tough with the disc fading with the slope there. Mm -hmm. um, probably a good tree. Brand oh, almost, almost running that. So, this is a pretty good drive by John. Puts it right there for his three. This hole, you just, you, you kind of just want a three. To get a two is definitely a bonus. For sure. But, yeah. So, Tyler's putt comes up a little low. I feel like that's kind of been his, uh, his MO this whole round, just to kind of to the cage. Brandon puts in for Bogey, yeah, I believe. And we just got a couple of tap ins. All right, well, there's our final scores for the front nine. We got Brandon at one under, Tyler at two over, Jonathan Nice at three over, and John Fox at two yeah. down. Um, so, yeah, there you have it for the front nine. Uh, tune in for the back nine. And, uh, yeah.
See you then.